everyone, myself Shanaz and I welcome you all to my wonderful world of education system that is MTC Mustafa Tuition Center. Uh, here this is a mathematics textbook of uh, class 7. Okay, and uh, in the previous videos we started with uh, chapter 11, powers and exponents. Yes, this is the chapter that we have started. Powers and exponents, powers, exponents, index, it all means the same. Yes. So, we have done an intro and we started with uh, exercise 1 here. Okay. So, this is my notes. Coming back to my notes. Yes. So, powers and exponents. We have done an introduction. What is the importance of powers and exponents? How it came into existence? Yes. What do you mean by power and what do you mean by exponent? Yes. With various examples we have done. What is the meaning of base? What is an exponent? Yes. And then we started with exercise 1. Yes. We have learned how to write the base and the exponent of the given term okay and then how to write the expanded form of the given exponential form and how to write the exponential form if the expanded form is given okay so you can check out those videos also on my channel okay now in this video we are going to start with the third bit okay as you can see here this is the third bit and the question is express the following as the product of exponents through prime factorization okay so they have given five sums here okay so here they are asking us to express the following as the product of exponents through prime factorization hope kids you all remember what do you mean by prime factorization prime factorization is a way of expressing a number as a product of its prime factors or in other way you can define it as the method of breaking down a number into its prime numbers that help in forming the number when multiplied okay both the definitions are easy ones whichever you find it easy you learn it prime factorization is the method okay prime numbers prime factorization this is the topic which we are learning since class 5 yeah class 5 it is there class 6 also it is there and class 7 also okay so what are prime numbers kids you remember what are prime numbers prime numbers are the numbers which have only two factors one is one number one and the other is the number itself okay so prime factorization is a method of breaking down a number okay into its prime numbers breaking down a given number into its prime numbers which when multiplied will form the given number okay so here as you can see there are five uh, sums okay so i have already solved one two three and fourth one okay so as you can see here i have already solved this is prime factorization okay and this is how we break down the number and then we express it express it in exponential form okay so i have solved all four the fifth one i will do right in front of you so that it will help you to understand so all my kids please take the pen and book and start doing it along with me so that it becomes easy for you okay so we are doing it uh, question number five okay it is two thousand four hundred okay so they have given the number 2400 okay so now let us start prime factorization how we do it 2400 okay so let us start now we'll start with the least number right we'll start with the least prime number that is 2 okay so let us split it now 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 then these zeros you will bring it down as it is. Okay. Then again we can take this in two table. Yes. 2, 6, 12. And again you bring this zeros as it is down. Okay. Then next 2, 3, 6. Yes. And these zeros again you bring down as it is. Okay. Then now we can take it in. Yeah. Again we can take it in two table. Yeah. 2, 1, 2. And this 1 remains go here. This becomes 10. So 2 5s are 10. And this 0 you bring down as it is. Now we cannot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We can take it in 2 table again. Yes. 2 7s are 14. And 1 goes here. This becomes 10. It will be 2 5s are 10. Yes. Okay. Now this we cannot take it in 2 table anymore. We will take in 3. We will check it out in 3 table. Okay. So 3 2's are 6 and 1 goes here this becomes 15 3 5's are 15 yes now this we cannot uh, take in 3 table so what we do we take it in 5 table very easy 5 5's are 25 okay and then 5 1's are 5 
okay so prime factorization means this see you have to keep on uh, breaking the number till you get 1 okay and now next what you do is you will write down all this step by step okay so what you do here what was the initial number you have 2400 okay 2400 this was the number you got so now we'll do it step by step how we have done it okay 2 into 1200 yes this is the first step here then next 2 into 2 into 600 okay then next 2 into 2 into 2 into 300 okay then next 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 150 yes here next 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 again into 75 yeah here we are okay then again 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 yeah into 25 okay then again 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 total 5 twos into 3 into 5 into 5 yeah done this is the last one yeah this is okay so we have noted all the steps here okay in the expanded form we noted it in the form of expanded form so now we'll separate the similar numbers okay so how many twos we have we'll separate them like this okay yeah so we have one two three four five five times two multiplied five times and one multiplied once and five multiplied twice now let us write this in exponential form our last step okay because we have to express it in exponential form right so one two three four five two multiplied five times so two raised to the power of five next three is multiplied once so three raised to the power of one and then next five multiplied two times so five raised to the power of two okay so this is our result okay this is how we express it as a product of exponents through prime factorization okay so first you will uh, break the number okay into its prime numbers and then when we multiply it like this we write it in expanded form and then we write the exponential form of it okay kids so please practice this five sums okay and then it's really very easy okay so all those who are watching if this video has helped you in understanding uh, the third bit of exercise one of the chapter powers and exponents then please do like share and subscribe our channel mtc mustafa tuition center thanks for watching and kids please remember max is a subject of logic and you'll become it becomes easy and you'll become more perfect the more you practice okay so keep practicing it every day and understand and do whatever do you do please understand and do okay thank you